Little Mix just dropped their new album, LM5, November 16th, as 18 songs and it runs for 56 minutes. The album cover, this is like one of three. They have a standard edition, deluxe, and super deluxe. This is the deluxe edition of the album. It's um, cropped and more zoomed in as opposed to the other one. And the title um, of the album, as well as the group name, is below the album as opposed to being in the upper left corner. It basically shows them um, posing in the streets of London, so it's a pretty straightforward album cover. But anyways, moving on, singles for this album, we have Woman Like Me featuring Nicki Minaj. We have Strip featuring Shariah J, Told You So, and Only You featuring Cheat Codes. Standouts for this album, we have Woman Like Me, which is the lead single. The record celebrates women from all walks of life. We have Think About Us. It's a record about a woman asking her man, does he think of her and long for their embrace when they're apart? On the intro, Perry says, when you're dancing in a club and the nights are getting hard, do you think about us? Do you think about us? When the music gets so loud and the girls are all around, do you think about us? Do you think about us? And then we have Strip. It's the second single. It's a record that promotes positive reinforcement of one's body, no matter the shape or size. We have Monster in Me. It's a record about the highs and lows of a relationship. Jesse says, every night we fight and it's hot like hell, but it feels like heaven between the sheets. So basically, she's describing a, basically an argument and then them having makeup sex afterwards, which is a juxtaposition of, you know, hell versus heaven. The argument feels like hell, but the sex feels like heaven. But anyways, moving on, we have Joan of Art. It's an upbeat record that promotes feminism as well as woman independence. The title comes from the historical figure who led the French army to a victory against the English at the Battle of Orleans. We have Love a Girl Right. It's a record in which a guy is told to treat a woman with love and respect. And one miscue and the woman he loves will leave him and her friends will come down on him. We have American Boy. It's a record about me meeting a guy in California who's in a band. The guy loves the narrator, but tells her that the girl he was performing with was the one that got away. We have Told You So. It's the third single. The record is about comforting a friend through a breakup. We have More Than Words featuring Camille. It's a record about someone being there to pick up the pieces during a trying time. We have Notice. It's a record about a woman trying to get the attention of her significant other. We have Woman's World. It's a record about society through the eyes of a woman. And on his record, it says, but she goes to the same job every day. She's overworked and underpaid just because the way her body's made. Ain't that insane? And so that's basically like some of the sentiments that, um, a lot of women have and then on the chorus part of the song jade says if you never been told how you gotta be what you gotta wear how you gotta speak if you never shy to be hurt you ain't lived in a woman's world so basically they're giving an insight into how into some of the things women have to deal with as opposed to men which i think is important because it's good to see the perspective, you know, of things through more than one point of view. And here we're given the point of view of what it's like to um, go through life living as a woman. And then we have Only You featuring Cheat Codes. It's the final single and it's a record about being your true self, finding your soulmate and being in a state of bliss once you do. Sleepers, we have Motivate, The Cure and Forget You Not skips we have wasabi and the cure stripped my personal favorites are woman like me monster and me joan of art love a girl right american boy more than words and notice my overall conclusion is that it was a great album and the overall theme of this album is basically woman empowerment you have songs about uplifting women you have songs about um uh, woman independence you have songs about uh being there through trying times you have songs about um love and breakups and relationships so overall i thought the album was great and i gave it a 16 out of 18 which comes out to an 86 percent so overall this was um a great body of work put forth by them
But anyways, if you're a fan of Little Mix, be sure to pick up this album. If you enjoyed my review, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.